Well, hello YouTube. As promised, I did a part one of why you want to fish in Jacksonville, Florida. When it's basically cool or from about here on out, October 1, let's say. It's going to be October 1 in a few days and that is the start of the real season. And then if you even want to get better, November 1, with November being some of the top fishing. But what I'm going to show you here is some excerpts of all the videos that I have. Not all of them, but some old favorites of when we are in jackets, foul weather gear, and that is when the fishing, inshore, light tackle, sport fishing, is the best. There's no doubt that everybody thinks that it's, hey, let's go to Florida when it's hotter than holy hell, all right? That's what forced me to get my giant top build on my boat. But let me tell you something. You'll see in this video proof of why that if you want keeping fish, better action, less junk fish, catfish, stingrays, that kind of stuff. If you want to go out with a couple guys and have a really good action pack, possibly cooler filling kind of day, within the limits, I mean, Florida, you know, I've never really been all that happy with their speckled trout and their redfish limits, okay? It, I got all kinds of opinions on that, just like everybody else does. But when I am wearing these, when I am wearing these slicker pants, Grunden's Foul Weather Gear slicker pants, and this jacket with either a hooded sweatshirt underneath of it, which that's basically all you really need, okay? I'm not talking cold, 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 like ice-breaking cold. I'm talking cold for Northeast Florida, hopefully. And we don't even get the cold days like we used to. In the first video, part one of this sort of series, the first part was basically sheep's head, black drum some action of me doing some stuff out on some cold weekdays. Well, you're going to see the same thing in this video. Except this, I'm throwing in some customers with me and some solo fishing. Mondays and Tuesdays. I'm telling you, sometimes there ain't nobody around. And when it's cold, all the fair weathers are at home. And... So many times people miss out on such an opportunity to have some epic inshore fishing in Northeast Florida. All because they're a little scared. Don't be scared of the weather. You dress appropriately. When you come down here, you're talking to me. If you're coming from someplace up north, then obviously you have some winter jackets and things like that. Don't leave them at home. Bring them so you're comfortable while you're out. Especially in Northeast Florida and, you know, usually January, February. But the fishing can be epic. Epic times. Around here, what happens is the water gets cooler. When the water gets cooler, you have less, less undesirable species. Plus, the water gets cleaner. It kills off algaes and things like that. And I'm going to concentrate pretty much in the footage that you're going to see after this intro is speckled trout, yellowmouth trout, weak fish, and some red fish. Okay, that's what everybody wants. They want fish fry material. Well, it is very difficult when the water's bathtub 85 degrees to go out and say, 
hey, I, you know, I just want, you know, I want a giant fish fry. I want groceries. Well, I don't make up the rules and regulations, number one, and I don't control the weather, and I don't control when you pick the day to go out. But I'm doing this as a heads up. I don't know who will ever see it. You know, I do these videos, I throw them out there, I always tell everybody I've got almost 800 videos, right? And I'm just constantly trying to educate you as a potential customer. Now, you know, the old saying of insanity is when you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different outcome. Well, I don't necessarily <laughs> ever take hardly anybody that is a YouTube viewer fishing. So I guess that's why I'm a little insane, because I keep doing this. But I do also use the videos and send them off to people who inquire and say, listen, look at this. This is an example. That's how I started my entire YouTube channel, was on the premise of having videos of people to show potential customers. That's the whole reason back in 2007 why I even started this YouTube channel. But, you know, it's the expectations sometimes outclass the, you know, the outcome. So, what I got is footage, it's excerpts, just pop, 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 pop of what has gone on years before. Some of my favorite videos. So take a look at this, and I hope you enjoy it. And remember, when you see this and these, it's go time, folks. That's reality. So if you go any other time, I can't make things happen for you. All I can do is go with the flow. And that's what I try to do. But here is your big hints in Northeast Florida. Mr. Yellowmouth. Yes, sir. We'll take these all day long. It's about the meat. See right there, it's four fish already in what? Like five cat five casts. You know, I love me some fresh dead. That's and the today. biggest and best yellowmouth that I've ever caught. That's the all most. trout, folks. And I mean, specs, yellowmouth. Look at these yellowmouth, would yeah, you? Yeah, look at those things, man. Weak fish. For Bigger the than, the, than yeah. the specs. Big Bob's got on a giant fish on a slab spoon, baby. Slab spoon. LT, baby. LT. Oh my God, giant, giant red. Giant red fish on this right here, folks. See this? That's what we caught him on. Slab spoon and a piece of gulp. Pink gulp, baby. Woo! Yeah. Let me show this. The biggest fish ever caught on one of Dave's slab spoons. The biggest fish ever caught. This can't be pounds. Nah, I don't think he's gonna be that much. He's gonna be in the high teens. Look at that, folks. See that? Five eighths ounce slab spoon and a little VMC Siwash hook and a gulp patch. True trophy catch on that tackle right there. 
Yeah, baby, look at that. All righty, folks. Dave's third gator of the year in Mill Cove. Who let them dogs out? Woo! Let's see how big he is. 23 inches. Woo! All right. Me taking a video of me taking a picture of you. Yeah. All right, folks. There we go. Not a big stud. All righty. Bob just got a nice black drum. Hold All righty, folks. Here's the end of day. Box full of trout and drum. We got ourselves some nice drums, little pups drums. And believe it or not, even have a couple yellow mouth down in there somewhere. So, pretty damn good day. Get yours between now and April. <laughs>
February. One barely legal speck and all the rest are yellow mouths. Well, now we're on to another spot. Tomorrow is leap year day. Come on. Why aren't you taking advantage of this beautiful, crisp morning? Usually it's a Monday, Tuesday, but today's Friday and it's cold. And there's so many fair weather fishermen out there. This is the reason that I love it when it's like this. Nobody. Nobody at the jetties. Oh yeah, nice speckly trout. That's what makes the world go round. Do da, do da. Yes sir. That's what I'm talking about on the fluke rig. Nice trout. Third cast. Got another. There's all this bait in here. Look at all these birds. They're all chasing glass minnows. Got another one. He ain't a whopper stopper, but it'll it'll make the grease stink at Dave's house. Come on! Not a whopper stopper, but it's a keeper. This is a good one here. This is a good one. It's a sweetheart! Nice big chubster! A sweetheart! Come on! Another sweetheart! Sweetheart. 
start, the whole idea, especially for speckled trout, is if you really have the chance to get in green, clean water, which is pretty much a rarity in these parts. That is really the ticket. Look at that Magambo. Yeah, everybody always asks, what do you use it for bite? Well, when you're float rig fishing, float rig, you always use Magambo. I did what I wanted to do, catch some trout. Time to make the donuts. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing, scare away the blues. I'm going fishing. everybody to know that really during this time of year January February when it's cold and it's windy and all that the only people I really take fishing are die-hard fishermen but this time of year when I'm wearing a hood and a sweatshirt and it's cold I take out pretty much just die-hards yeah. she is ready she's ready for a little bit of fish fry material here give me a call I'm a diehard. I don't care. I love it. I mean, the cold weather, just wear enough clothes.